Okay, so our next example of ocean routes is the Cape of Good Hope Sea Route. Uh, so I will tell you that Cape of uh, Good Hope jo hai, uh, this is basically a cape that uh, you know falls on the coastline of Africa uh, along the Atlantic Ocean. So this is on position. Pe padta hai. It's like uh, it's on the west coast of the African continent that we have facing the uh, Atlantic Ocean. So that's where the uh, Cape of Good Hope is. And uh, but that Cape is not important for us. Uh, what's important for us is the sea route. Or uh, this sea route, jo hai, ye wahan se hoke nikalta hai. So uh, this sea route connects West Europe and Western African countries with Brazil, Argentina, and uh, Uruguay. So uh, what happens is, ye ke, ye, uh, sea route jo hai, so it connects countries of West Europe, West Europe, matlab, uh, you know, so uh, West European countries, jo hai, hamare paas upar, uh, UK, Britain, uh, Britain, France, uh, vagera, vagera, to, ye um, wo countries hai, West Europe ki, phir hamare paas hai, West African countries, uh, or uh, what it links with is, uh, countries of Latin America. So these are Latin American countries or uh, South American countries. So, uh, so ye, uh, basically, uh, African uh, continent mein jo countries hai or jo countries uh, South America mein hai, ye us, uh, in dono continents ko uh, link karta hai ye sea route, right? Uh, however, this uh, sea route has less traffic due to limited development and population in South America and Africa. So uh, even though the sea route exists, but it's not very important and it's not very, it's not a very busy ocean route because uh, in both South America and Africa, we have uh, very limited development. So this is limited development in, in countries of these regions and we have very less population. So this route is not significant is exactly what it's saying. Uh, also, both have similar products and resources. So, uh, South American jo countries and African countries are dono dono resource base similar and uh, you know, uh, agar log, uh, pro, kisi, uh, goods mein trade karenge, to, you know, there needs to be diverse, diversification of uh, goods. But then, however, uh, in, in these two uh, continents, in countries of these two continents, the resource base is very similar and the uh, you know, products of trade uh, available are also very similar. Th therefore, there's not much trade. And that is why this route uh, is not a very busy route. It's, it's a route with very less traffic. And it's a very, um, you can say, it's it's not a very significant uh, trade route, right? So, it is an important sea route, but it's not a very uh, significant trade route. So, that's all about the uh, Cape of Good Hope. Uske agla hamai paas jo sea route hai, uh, that's North Pacific sea route. So N is basically North. Uh, so this is the North Pacific sea route. Uh, what this does is it links uh, ports on west coast of North America to Asia. Uh, so I don't want you to get confused. What happens is, uh, isse pehle humne jo North Atlantic wala padha, that was, so Atlantic Ocean is between, uh, you know, uh, the American continent and here we have the uh, Europe and uh, Nietzsche Hamare Paas Jo African continent hai, unke beach ka jo ocean hai, that's the Atlantic Ocean. Or uh, America ke, uh, you know, western side mein jo ocean hai, uh, which is uh, linked with, uh, you know, on the side uh, Japan or India wagera aate hai, jo Southeast Asia uh, aata hai, to that's the Pacific Ocean, right? So the North Pacific Sea route, uh, what it does is it con it links ports on west coast of North America. Matlab North America ka jo west coast hai, hamare paas ports ke examples bhi hai, uh, to Asia. <coughs> Matlab, uh, to jo North Atlantic wala tha, wo Europe ke saath connect karta tha, aur is side mein Pacific wala jo hai, um, these, these are named, uh, thankfully these are, these sea routes are named on the basis of this uh, oceans on which they are, you know, located. So, this North Pacific wala jo hai, ye, uh, Asia ke saath connect karta hai. So, American side mein, hamare paas, if you look at the, uh, you know, map of US, you'll be able to see ports like Vancouver, Seattle, San Francisco, 
पोर्टलैंड लॉस एंजलिस तो अमेरिकन साइड में हमारे पास ये सारे पोर्ट्स हैं जो अमेरिका के वेस्ट कोस्ट में आता है एशियन साइड में हमारे पास काफी सारे कंट्रीज के पोर्ट्स हैं लाइक योकोहामा कोबे दीज टू आर यू नो दीज टू आर इन जापान राइट सो जापान देन वी हैव हांगकांग एंड शंघाई विच आर इन चाइना right so these are uh, chinese ports then we have manila which is in uh, philippines to so, philippines is a south east asian country to so, matlab it's it, it we can imagine the extent of the uh, sea route kahan kahan pe ye traverse karta hai and then we have singapore to so, uh, यू नो तो अमेरिका के जो वेस्ट कोस्ट में जो पोर्ट्स हैं उनके साथ ट्रेड चलती है ये सारे साउथ एशियन और साउथ ईस्ट एशियन कंट्रीज का राइट सो दैट्स अबाउट दी नॉर्थ पैसिफिक सी रूट उसके बाद हम देखेंगे साउथ पैसिफिक सी रूट अब साउथ पैसिफिक सी रूट जो है कनेक्ट वेस्ट यूरोप एंड नॉर्थ अमेरिका विथ ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड एंड स्कैटर्ड पेसिफिक आईलैंड वाया द पनामा कनाल तो ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड वगैरह जो हो गए ये दीज दीज यू नो लाई ऑन द सदर्न साइड सो फॉर कनेक्शन टू दीज एरियाज विथ वेस्टर्न यूरोप एंड नॉर्थ अमेरिका वी हैव दी साउथ पेसिफिक सी रूट ऑल्सो इट इट लिंक्स विथ स्कैटर्ड पेसिफिक आईलैंड वाया द पनामा कनाल विच इज ऑल्सो समथिंग दैट वो गोइंग टू बी स्टडिंग लेटर एंड समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो पनामा कनाल जो है वो अफ्रीका और यू नो एशिया यूरेशिया के बीच में आता है सो इट्स समथिंग वी लुक विद डिटेल्स लेटर ऑन इट इज दिस दिस सी रूट इज आल्सो यूज्ड टू रीच हांगकांग फिलिपाइंस एंड इंडोनेशिया सो हांगकांग इज हांगकांग यू नो अबाउट फिलिपाइंस एंड इंडोनेशिया आर बेसिकली साउथ ईस्ट एशियन कंट्रीज सो दीज आर कंट्रीज ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट Asia, Honolulu is an important uh, port in this route. So Honolulu is basically the capital of Hawaii, right? So it's the capital of Hawaii, and it's an important uh, port which falls along this route, the South Pacific uh, Sea Route, <coughs> which connects West Europe and North America with Australia, New Zealand, and scattered Pacific Islands. So uh, these are things that are very confusing to remember, probably, and it. uh like i always keep saying it's always a good practice to uh map all these things on a world map to hamare paas uh, ocean routes ke examples mein bas itne hi the the next thing that we are going to be looking at is something called coastal shipping to so, coastal shipping kya hota hai it's 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 uh you know it's a convenient mode of transport for long coast lines matlab jin countries mein कोस्ट लाइन की लेंथ जो है वो बहुत बड़ी होती है कंट्रीज विच हैव यू नो लॉन्ग स्ट्रेच ऑफ कोस्ट लाइन वो कंट्रीज एक दूसरे के बीच में यू नो ट्रेड करने के लिए यू नो फ्रंट फेसिंग कंट्रीज ट्रेड करने के लिए दे कैन यूज दिस थिंग कॉल कोस्टल शिपिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव यूएस इंडिया चाइना एंड द शेनगन स्टेट्स ऑफ यूरोप सो शेनगन स्टेट्स ऑफ यूरोप इज लाइक सम ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्टेट्स ऑफ यूरोप विच uh which can you know have uh, internal trade amongst themselves using uh coastal shipping so uh what it does is it coastal shipping uh connecting one country's coast to another matlab uh agar aise uh, countries hain jo uh, ek jin, jinke coasts jo hai wo ek dusre ko face karte hain for example like we have uh, the latin american countries uh, facing the you know uh, coastline of uh, the african countries so uh, you know uh, countries with a uh, long coastline countries ki baat kar rahe hain countries with long coastlines can have coastal shipping they can use uh, they can use their coastlines to have coastal shipping uh, with other nearby countries and this can reduce congestion on land routes uh, so uh, coastal shipping mein bhi hum padhenge about the two coast uh, the two shipping canals which are uh, the suez canal and the panama canal uh, but that's all about coastal shipping right now it's 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 just something that uh, can be used to uh, you know uh, minimize the uh, congestion that happens on land transport by uh, developing coastal shipping instead 
so uh, in the next segment we'll move on to our uh, next topic but uh, so far we've just uh, covered all the uh, important ocean routes and we've just introduced this new thing called coastal shipping